All right, here I am with my students ready to use a breakout room. So I'm gonna look for this triangle square circle, or perhaps if you're using the chat feature, you might see this the triangle square circle here. So I'm gonna click that button and I'm gonna choose the first option, breakout rooms. So in the breakout rooms, I can set them up. So this is what it looks like. I have a little pen here, so I'm gonna click that button. And I can see that it automatically broke both my very tiny group of students here into their own separate room. I can also make one other, one other room by clicking one, and then I can put both students in one room, all right? I can also change the name here. So maybe this is going to be collaboration. That's gonna be the collab room, and this is going to be the silent room. Is then I can also set a timer. So I can take this timer and I'm going to end the room after a set amount of time. And so I'm gonna do that to one minute, okay? Setting this timer means that every breakout room will end at the end of that time and all students will be invited back to the main room. So now I'm going to go down here to the big green button and say, open rooms. So the students will get a, uh, an, inv an invitation on their screen and it would say what room they've been invited to and they actually have to choose join. You can see here now in the main room, I don't have any students. Everyone is all in the main call is only me. And now these students are working in their separate breakout rooms. But what's really handy is as a student, I can ask for help. My top yellow bar. And I will notice that I can, this student asked for help. So I can go in and join that student. You also notice that at the top, I have a countdown from 30 seconds to however long that, that breakout room and how long it's going to be there. So here I am helping the student do the collaboration work. And, um, and then I can also then leave that and join back into the main call. The student to choose to go back to the main call. All right, and again, there are my students coming back to the main room and we're all here together. You cannot join a breakout room unless you've been invited to the main room. So if a student shares their uh, breakout room passcode to somebody not in your class, that student will have to still ding dong into the main room in order for them to be invited. So um, that, that keeps these groups very uh, safe. And what I can do is actually go in as the host and I have host controls here as well. You'll notice there it goes at the bottom. So I can go into the host controls and I can actually turn off sharing screen and turn off chat messages to facilitate that conversation. I can also edit rooms. So now instead of uh, two rooms, I want there to be three rooms. Again, I will see all those names here as well. And I can put different rooms, different students into different rooms. And then I'm going to hit save. And that my students will get different messages to join those different rooms. So now even if I accidentally X myself out, I can actually see that breakup rooms are in session. But this is interesting. The student 17 is in the call. So I'm going to take a look at what that means. Well, if I can take a look, I'm going to see that in my breakout rooms, student 17 actually hasn't chosen anything yet. So I now can go over to student 17 and make sure that student 17 knows that they have to uh, join a room. OK, so now I can see what's happening in different groups. I can see that 17 is on their way there. OK, and then what I could do at the very end, I'm, I'm done. I can say close rooms and all rooms will be pulled back within, again, 30 seconds. So you do have to be aware that there it, it does count the students down so that they have um, it does count the students down so they have uh, time to organize, uh, finish any conversations they might be having and, and doing it that way. Here, that the breakout sessions have ended, I can return to the main call. And once I'm in the main call, the students then have access. 